Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banished. Alright, we can start up the clock right here. And we are about to transition in a completely separate neighborhood right here. And we are doing to some degree good, I would say. We had a little bit of a firewood scare the last couple of episodes, but for the most part, we uh, were able to get ourselves out of it. That's very good. Not to say that there aren't any other problems that needs fixing. Uh, but yeah, we are clearing this area. Or rather, completing this area. And it has a lot of, a lot of row houses, really. I don't know how many, but a lot. <laughs> so we have the uh, standard buildings right here. The not too expensive ones. And the little bit more luxurious parts right here. Different types of housing, of course. And I like these row houses, but I also like the stacked houses right here. They just pack in a lot of people. So I think we may want to switch to a, another type of stackable house, which I haven't tried. Very, uh, very curious to see how that's going to work. Let's see. Oh, there's a little part missing right here. Let's get that piece right there. And we may also want to keep going with these docks. Just to make sure that we have room to expand right here. Yeah, so... This is currently being completed. A couple colonial townhouses here and there. And this is... Uh, the last set of two-story middles right there. And that's going to complete this circle. Alright, before we do, let's check to see. We have... 127 homes and 114 families and we have lots of room to grow which is nice our education has suffered pretty significantly because our schools filled up really really quickly right there we have some room right there but I think we may want to go for a college I think that may be uh, the best way forward right there Come to think of it, we may want to get a barn here too. Tithe barn. Like so. Because these take a long, long time to build. And that reminds me. We're getting to a point where most of the buildings that are here we've already checked out, so I'm going to be a little less stringent on using other houses right here. The normal ones. Uh, we can keep going though. 22 students. School. Yeah. How much does an actual college fit right here? That's really my preferred building. Oh, it doesn't even show. Well, let's build it anyway. Let's do that right there. I don't think we're encroaching on a lot of things right there. But we are going to be building a lot of stuff right here. And we have a stockpile semi nearby. Grab more stones, of course, so we don't have to be purchasing all the time. We're sitting on 34 labors. That's pretty good. Let's hope our education is going to increase on its own. Just to be sure, let's add one more school. There we go. Still haven't decided what we want to be doing there. brought stones for us. That's nice. 1200. That's all I can afford, but okay. And I think our firewood problems. Let's go over the charts right here. Food is definitely something we need to work on quickly too. Logs are fine. Purchasing stones, and the same goes for iron. I think we may want to start up purchasing again. 
firewood is really, really good. Minerals, not so much, but we don't need them. Health is looking really good. Clothing is finding its footing. Flex, we have a little flex, we have some linen. There's a joiner. Seamstress. Yeah, we have a lot of problems developing, but not anything too crazy right here. Food is definitely scary. So let's do the following. Let's start drawing a road right here and lay out whatever it is we want to be doing here. So let's start right here. Maybe like that. close off this building right here and I think we may want to start with a new theme set building one which I've never tried before so let's add a stone building right here and then we go tower house with apartments for six people and yeah we can do six floors <laughs> that's actually uh, that is something right here it's also very cheap Ooh. All right. Where's the road? There's the road. Let's do one. This is the ground floor. We have a second floor right here. I'm actually not sure. How this is going to work. Do we need to do first floors all around? Just to make sure that we don't mess things up here. It has happened before. And these are tall buildings, so. Well, let's leave it like that. only going to be purchasing stone so this is going to provide some housing nothing too crazy uh, but I wanted to build one more thing right here and we may have enough room now again I did not look up anything which is <laughs> which is terrible of course uh, but I wanted to see is there a where's the building that I'm looking for right here some workplaces right here but here forest haven and then go right here resources and let's do one more of these nut havens right here let's hope we can fit one in this is going to be the tithe barn okay this is going to be where our home is that's going to be a little bit too small Ooh, that's unfortunate we could do it here, though. Or maybe right here. We don't need to connect everything with the road. This is sort of a... back portion, I would say. Something... that should serve... as of a sort... Uh, excuse me? As a sort of backyard and let's get two nut roasters right here we have houses nearby that should do it baker mill nut roaster can we do anything else firewood storage oh, that may be interesting that's cool more havens okay 
Ooh, there's some market. Ooh. Haven't tried that. Let's do it. We're going to be building a lot of stuff right here. Maybe continue with the road as well. Yeah, we're doing a lot of things at the same time right here. But we have so many laborers as well as builders. I don't feel too bad about it. All right, go right here. Let's, uh, is there something in the way right here? Let's wait until that piece of stone is collected. I'm assuming that it's earmarked to be collected, and it is. Awesome. So a road all the way to there. Yeah, this is going to be constructed real quick, I'm assuming. Yeah, food is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Let's see. While this is being completed here, is there anything else we want to do? Bakery. Mill. We could go for the... Oh, did I see a freezing icon real quickly pop up? Yes. Where's that happening? Buildings and ruins. Ruined greenhouse. Alright. These hedgerows are still very good though. Forest center. But I do want to keep going with the... Uh, with new things right here. We already have gathers. Most of the situation is under control. A fairy garden. Sugar plum shop. Plum patch. Fairy garden patch to get plums, honey, flax and herbs. Some nice houses. Ooh, these look interesting. To make patches grow. Fairy dust workplace. Okay. Vegetables, grains and fruits. Okay. Let's do one right here. Oh, we're building so many things at the same time. This is crazy. Do we do the uh, pine roof, seasonal? May want to add this fairy dust right here. Come to think of it, let's also get ourselves a bitty well. A little Tinkerbell right there. <laughs> there we go. Food is dropping quickly though. Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to be careful. Roasted nuts, walnuts, mm, okay. College. Yeah, I'm going to be very liberal with the, uh, <clears throat> with the labors here. Wait, where's that college? Oh, it doesn't really show how many people fit in there. I'm gonna keep adding zeros <laughs> until it's right. Uh, let's add two people right there. Let's add two people to the nut roaster. We still need this nut haven to finish up though. And what do you need? Father thatch. We do have that. What do you produce? Fairy dust. Okay. 
no clue how that <laughs> how that's gonna work. This tight bar needs to finish quickly though, and there it is. Good stuff. And as soon as we finish this nut haven, I'm gonna really double down on the food production here. We're gonna build a lot of things in one go. Yeah, this nut haven, that's gonna work very well with this nut roaster. Let's actually add three people in this section because we will be building. Oh, three people can work here? One, two, three. If we're gonna build out these high rises, right? That's gonna make things very interesting. Homes and family, so let's leave that be. So let's go one X for a little while right here. And let's build every food building that we can get from this fairy garden right here. Fairy dust. We do have the fairy garden spring. Let's do the summer one as well. Uh, maybe we want to build in this direction, actually. It's going to be the fall. Oh, there's no winter. Sugar plum makes candy. Pot of gold. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, and a well? Okay. Shamrock patch that works like a church. I guess so. I'm just building houses willy-nilly here, which is probably not a... Not a good idea, especially if we're already a little tight on the food right here. Okay, buildings for the masters of stone and iron, winter edition. Mine, smelter, forge, this is all industrial. Swamp dwellers. some jetty stuff already. Smoker cures your fish. Can we build these jetties right here? Oh, we can. Oh, that's so good. I'm not sure if I want to be moving out so quickly, though. Forest outpost. Yeah, I think we hit most of the buildings already. Yes, of course, there are a lot of things we can still do. So here's fur trappers and such. We haven't looked at those. But it seems our clothing is still doing somewhat good. Stone buildings. We have business. Baker. Spa. Okay, that's a health building. Unique housing. Wooden houses. Stone variant. Medieval grace. Yeah, there aren't too many distinct food buildings, I guess. Let's actually go 5x for a little while right here. I'm going to ignore... The traders. <clears throat> Excuse me. A well that attracts no match here. Growing plants and making pie. Build a house. Herb garden for herbs and spices. Nursery. Greenhouse for sunflowers. Pumpkins. We're just checking out some stuff. Oil press. No, we don't need those. Storage. Why not? A greenhouse. Ghosted. We can literally build it anywhere. 
So let's do it. 4x6 plot. 7x7 plot. Do we want to keep going with this? I think so. I don't think it actually does anything. <laughs> Small workplaces. Yeah, the problem of our food seems to be mounting with <laughs> with every little step we take right here. Tool production. B and B. Coffee beans. Let's start at the beginning actually. Hostel. So these are great, but these are production buildings, and or, excuse me, refining buildings, it seems. Friendly blue. Oh, we have more patches right here. To make salsa. Pepper patch. Things are slowly looking better. So let's remove these greenhouses. It's a nursery. Probably already forgot where the patches are. I'm so confused. <laughs> Not very entertaining content, I'm afraid. <laughs> Here we go. Pepper patch. Okay. Pumpkin patch. Oh, these are all different sizes. That's interesting. Squash. Tomato. An onion patch. Snails. It's a little too sophisticated for my taste, but okay. Clean shed. Do we just uh, <laughs> build everything right here? Let's try it. Why not? Compost. A market for compost, fertilizer, and plant debris. Salsa store. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to have to do that too. I'm just plopping down here. <laughs> right there. And yeah, let's get the last section right here. <clears throat> so yeah, we're just building all kinds of stuff right here. Nursery. Just to see what's what. So, I've not given up. We're still playing, of course. But we have so many things to try out here. And actually, come to think of it. Uh, let's do spices right there. Food is increasingly dropping right here. That's a terrible thing. That means we may want to stop the exploring. And actually build towards getting ourselves a proper food stream right here. Now, this is a lot of food right here, but I'm unsure as to whether this is going to be producing what I think it's going to produce. Apparently it takes an intake food, or excuse me, intake, an input resource, that's the word I'm looking for, I guess, it could be compost. Making 
kernels. Cleaning shed, plant debris or fertilizer. So let's do plant debris. Oh, you make compost. Could also take thatch. But do we, uh. Uh oh, that's looking terrible. <laughs> 72,000. Okay, let's do the thatch because this is a. Uh, We have plenty of thatch. Alright, let's slow down here because our food situation is getting increasingly poor. And I think we uh, still have to wait for this. I also think we may want to have a couple more of these... Uh, not clean shed, but this one. Compost bin. Let's get a couple more of these now. Here we go again. Ooh, what's that? It's decoration. Fishing tree. Okay. I'm wasting too much time here. Let's do that later. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get a uh, get to the water right here. This immediately filled up. Let's quickly check these. Yeah, we're not in need of anything right now. Let's just have our jade inventory built back up again. Chapel is full. Born, luckily, still has a lot of things that we can go for. Where were those buildings? This is a great mod, but it can uh, get you sidetracked really quickly. Or, oh here, homegrown, of course. Compost bin. Right, compost bin. Absolutely. Let's get a couple more right there. Let's get that road fixed up too. It's a little bit of a hill right here. Ooh, this is going to be costly though. terms of the resources that we're unable to pick up. But we did the same right here. And let's get... Let's see, how is the uh, homes? Uh, not too good, really. So let's go theme sets. Add a stone building. And let's do the ground floors only. Leave a little bit of room right here for a road. That we can get right there. Yeah, let's do something like this. Now we can go here and add a second floor right here. Oh yeah, that looks good. At least I think so. Oh really? That may be scary. It's also almost impossible to click that. Alright, let's have that finish first. Compost bin. Don't use plant debris, but please use thatch. Do you have thatch? You do. Awesome. Well, let's have one do 
and use up all the plant debris that we're using right there. Or, excuse me, producing. Alright, we can go 10x right here. Now let's add the road. Oh, actually, that's not as nice looking as I was hoping that it would, but okay. Stone cutter crushed by a rock. Oh, that's terrible news. I can only assume that you take this uh, stuff, right? Is this working? Oh yeah, they're all hanging forward, I guess. That one too. Okay, that means that we can add one right here. Second floor. There we go. What about our wine? Do we have a lot of wine? 1200, not really. We're almost out of rice too. <laughs> Firewood is looking very good. Let's assign someone to work at the hunting blind, of course. Need more food? 38,000. Oh, oh. Starting to get very scary. Let's go right here. Add a couple of these jetties right here. And let's do boat jetty. Because I'm not liking the fishing jerry, uh, jetty. Is there any way we can make this work? It's kind of a weird angle here. can do one there. May actually want to double up on both of them. There we go. Died during childbirth. Ooh, look at that. That's like one huge pepper right there. <laughs> Alright, it seems as though they're out of material. Fodder thatch, there is still some in there though. But if need be, I'm gonna add a thatch patch somewhere here. But we're already sitting on so much thatch, right? 75,000. Gracious. We still have the hospital right there. But yeah, we have added a lot of food production buildings, and it seems we cannot keep up. <laughs> we just cannot keep up right here. Okay, one, two, three. Or a lot more. There we go. Alright, we keep running out of thatch right here. Let's do... Do we want to do a thatch patch here? Hmm. <laughs> Could also add a small market. Maybe they can take it from there. Supplies. Uh, do we have a market? We don't there. Also not there. Jam shop, general trader, barn. It seems like no. Town service is probably also a no. Service. Oh, it's going to be under storage, of course. 
market. Just to increase the efficiency a little bit right here. Can we place it? We can. So let's get the market right here and maybe one more thatch patch here. But let's see how this market works out first. Because we're already sitting on so much thatch patch here. Or, uh, excuse me, thatch. 10,000 firewood. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. Definitely not going to be a problem. <laughs> Alright. But we are running out of time here. And our food is still not under control. So we traded our firewood problem for a food problem. But it seems as though whatever we did here seems to be working to some degree. We also added a nut haven right here. Let's see if we have walnuts. Not too many. But we should have roasted nuts. 3,000. Okay, yeah, that's good. And we still have a couple of walnuts, so these two buildings should not be running out of material anytime soon. We added some jetties right here, just to keep things under control here. Because all that exploration of the new buildings made it a little bit difficult. <laughs> Tools also need attention, right? Of course. So let's first of all do this. Inventory. And let's grab 5,000... Ooh, well, let's, let's make that 3,000 firewood right here. Just to... Uh, get set up a little better. We should be able to backfill that very quickly. Alright. And now with this market, we should be doing good. Yeah, let's hope they can grab thatch quickly. Let's do one anyway. And let's have this finish this episode too. Oh yeah, these are gonna humongous these buildings six stories to a single house that's kind of radical if you ask me oh yeah this is looking nice look at all this firewood production a lot of work being done there all right yeah we need to get this situated here Post. But you should have plenty. You can just go to this tight part. Thirty-two. Do we have compost? Yeah, we need more compost production, I think. <laughs> Can we do that here? Let's go a little bit over time right here. Homegrown. Compost. Because these buildings are small. That makes them quite spammable. So I'm going to sneak in one here and there. It's not going to be there, unfortunately. Alright, that's a lot of compost bins. <laughs> Let's have them finish up too. Oh yeah, that food is still dropping. is terrifying but I want to make sure that we have this compost all set up here you have plenty of father uh, father thatch let's call it father from now on 
or thatch rather. Oh, we have way more, uh, way more families than we have homes. All right. There we go. I want to make sure that we don't forget this. We can fix the housing situation in the next episode. Thatch. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of... <laughs> it's going to be a lot of production right here. Too. I have a little bit of difficulty understanding why they would have problems getting to the thatch, because there should be plenty right here. There is. So that should work out, no? I think most of the uh, sections have what they need. Before we do anything, let's get a second how, uh, second level on these. And after that, let's end the episode, because we are going over time. By a lot. Uh, let's have them be forward leading. And let's get a third floor on these. not really too concerned with the uh, different styles. There we go. Yeah, that should be a lot better here. Food is definitely a problem. But I think if we spend a little bit more time, maybe one episode, perhaps two, we should be able to figure it out. All right. So that's going to do it for this episode. We are way over time once more. Uh, but we are getting closer and closer to that thousand mark here. We're already sitting close to 500 citizens. And <clears throat> we are starting to notice it on the food here. So that's uh, definitely something we need <laughs> to start fixing really, really quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's going to have to be for the next episode. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, see you in the next episode, too. Thanks, everyone.